online session is organized by PGSS, uh, SCE, that's the Postgraduate School of uh, Chemical and Energy Engineering, in collaboration with uh, SPS, uh, School for Postgraduate Studies. So basically, uh, I'm sure as postgraduate students, we have uh, at one point or the other been clueless about uh, managing emotions coming from self-doubt uh, and you know, not knowing how to adapt to postgraduate uh, study life well. Our guest today is none other than Dr. Senior Lecturer uh, at the Faculty of Social Sciences here at UTM through and through. Uh, she backed her first honors degree, uh, Bachelor's of Science for, with Education from UTM here in 2015 and received the Vice Chancellor's Award as well as the Dean's Award. Also, uh, she went through the fast track PhD program in educational technology, also at UTM. Uh, completed her studies in 2018, receiving several awards, including the Chancellor's Award, Best Postgraduate Student Award, and Postgraduate Academic Excellence Award. So, without further ado, let us welcome our respected uh, make her pre presentation. So, the topic of uh, intellectual and management. Uh, emotional management of postgraduate candidate is my sharing topic today and I think this topic is very important for all the postgraduate students yes and, and we need to master it yeah so what I expect that uh, my audience can or could get from my sharing is that I hope that uh, after this talk you will know how to manage the emotion you will feel more energy yeah and you can recharge yourself and know what to do when you are down and know where to find the resources to have your intellectual and emotional support. I think this is very important and I would like to share this based on my own experience. Right? And I found a study related to the graduate students and their emotional uh, condition. And this study concluded that graduate students are more likely to experience mental health problems yeah, and depression. So in order to ensure the graduate students to succeed in their studies. Intellectual management cannot be neglected. Intellectual and emotional management are important. Um, in brief, our intellectual helps us to resolve the problems, to make the judgment, and to process information. While emotional intelligence allows us to identify emotion and use our emotion to resolve the problem. So which one is more important and which should come, which should come first? Um, we all know that, you know, the research life is a very, very individual process. We need to independently complete all the research process, okay? And your supervisor plays a role as a facilitator and advisor. At the end, you still need to manage, you still need to finish by your own. And we need to understand our journey very well. And of course, you need to always be trusted with your supervisor because your supervisor has an overview about your research journey. From my PhD journey, taught me a many things like how to manage it, how to face it, and how to overcome it. And this experience led me to do some sharing today based on my own experience, okay? Yeah, so, this, so these are the two things um, I did during my PhD journey, even until now I also did it. The first thing for me is very important is schedule. For me, schedule is the behavior and it's the action. You need to do something to fulfill your journey. So what are the things I do is that I come up with this schedule. What should I do? So I release out in my schedule. Who who I going to meet? All right. And then where and then how and how long I need to complete my task. So I schedule my timetable and then I set my milestone to fulfill what I need to do throughout the whole semester. Uh, the second thing is that I did is the reflection. Okay, um, I do reflection for a few minutes every day, yeah, not long, just a few minutes. I ask myself, how do I feel today? And then I will rate uh, the overall feeling in my timetable. Okay, at first, I would like to talk about the intellectual management. As we know that, you know, learning performance, the learning outcome are always affected by your knowledge, our personality and emotion. So this intellectual management focuses on the realization of intellectual beauty by means of knowledge management, okay? And especially knowledge development in this intellectual management is very important. It shows that on the ability to think and understand ideas at a high level, 
which is needed by um, a postgraduate student. And how to enhance your intellectual knowledge? So when you have more knowledge, actually, you will have more ability to think and understand things effectively, especially the complicated ideas. That's why we need this intellectual knowledge. So in terms of subject matter, so what is your subject matter knowledge? Subject matter knowledge actually is related to your um, discipline. Okay? It is beneficial to the understanding of your professional knowledge. So knowledge of worldview is an another important aspect uh, based on my experience and um, you know, the opinion that you need to know. Okay? It refers to the thinking mode and logic that we use to understand and transform the world. Okay, I guess everyone knows about the SDG now. Another type of knowledge uh, is, for me is very important and significant is the knowledge of research methodology. So no matter you are a bachelor degree or master or PhD student in UTM, you will need to conduct the research. So another uh, knowledge is more to the soft skill that I think we also need to master it as a postgraduate student, which are critical, creative, reasoning and thinking skills. Yeah. So if you want to make yourself stand up from crown in this competitive world, you need to master these skills well. Another knowledge that I would like to suggest you to have is that, you know, now is the era of technology. Yeah, everything is at our fingertips, right? But we still need to master our technology skills. Yeah. Uh, especially uh, you know, for some uh, postgraduate students, maybe uh, you you have no experience in using technology. So how we can strengthen and enhance our technology on um, intellectual management? How we can make it? How can we can how we can improve it? Yeah. All right. So um, I think this uh, everyone has uh, known this one. You need to attend the course and colloquium, and also the workshop as many as possible. Yeah. Because you know you can um, absorb and integrate the knowledge from different courses to find out what are the things we do not know yet. Right. And this knowledge can help uh, understanding the principle and logic because technology has changed our life quickly. So we, we need to always uh, keep learning. Yeah. Okay. So there are a lot of free online learning courses. There are free online learning course. So I will encourage you to join either one. Actually, when you do knowledge transfer uh, among your friends, it is actually express a two way process. When you interact with your friends, you share the knowledge to exchange the idea. Actually, knowledge dissemination and also the knowledge transfer happen yeah, automatically. And this automatically can help you to enhance your, uh, your knowledge and you can become a more uh, effective intellectual learner. Okay? Reading habits. Okay? Start from the first day you join as a postgraduate student, you need to read. Okay? You need to read until you graduate. Yeah? So reading habit uh, actually helps to or help to unlock our life growth, okay? Another thing I would like to share you is that how to find the um, resources, okay, if you want to enhance your knowledge, all right? So uh, nowadays, we have a lot of online tools and websites for graduate students, all right? So like SPS uh, website, you can find the academic guidelines, you can find academic tips shared by experts, and you can even see the proofreader. So these are the uh, other examples of the website that you can access. Um, as a postgraduate student, like for example, UTM library, everyone must access to this UTM library. You need to strengthen your cognitive ability, okay, cognitive ability, especially your memory and your mental focus. This is very important um, for us as a postgraduate student. So for emotional intelligence, actually it's equally important to the, you know, our intellectual uh, knowledge. So what is emotional intelligence? Emotional uh, is, you know, is, um, is, uh, is common. Yeah, it's a feeling and how you feel, etc. And this emotional intelligence actually is a person's ability to perceive, control, manage, evaluate, and express your emotion. So why is this emotional intelligence so important? Because it can help us to reduce our stress and it can build the positive relationship between you and your supervisor, you and your peers, you and your um, roommate, for example, and it can also diffuse conflict and improve our learning satisfaction and learning performance. But today, I want to emphasize about the control yourself emotion. All right, um, with emotion, you can identify, you can evaluate the emotion. But I want to emphasize how you can control your emotion in this early stage. 
both a negative and positive emotions that are actually evoked. However, positive emotions like uh, happy and excitement seem to dominate initially because you are excited. You are, you are so proud that you are glad that you study in UTM. In this phase, you know, the negative emotions actually uh, were more prominent in the middle phase than the earlier phase. Finally, we come to, to the end of our research journey. Yeah? So this, um, you know, this also uh, quite interesting because in this, age, uh, this stage of the study, uh, have both a mix of strongly feel negative and positive emotions because you know we, we are different our destiny is different our doing our learning way is different so we need to help each other and then um enhance emotional intelligence i will go through a very quick way yeah so of course it is the best way you need to live a healthier life self-awareness is uh, one of the ways to help you to enhance your emotional intelligence. So this self-awareness is the ability to recognize your emotion and understand how this emotion will affect your thought and also behavior. So you need to control your emotions rather than having them to control you, all right? So um, my remark here is that you need to work on being as organized as you can. You're, especially you can construct a timetable and to provide yourself a major activity plans and milestones. Don't be alone, yeah? People still don't realize that other people are able to judge their feelings. So you need to ask around, maybe the people that you trust the most or your supervisor. So this is my formula for you. Okay, at first you need to analyze what is your problem and then you need to face the problem. And lastly, you need to solve the problem. So uh, the last thing I would like to share is that you can always ask yourself, what am I worried now and why? So maybe I'm worried now I cannot um, come up with a good proposal. Yeah. So what can I do now? So you just need out. I can read more because I have much more time now. So what do I want to do now? So you decide which one you want to do. And lastly, you need to decide when you want to take action. All right. So this are... And then lastly, um, you know, life success is a result from so many factors, but there is a must for the transformation and enhancement of the one's intellectual, emotion, and also personality. Uh, next, we'll take a question and answer uh, session. This one is for Yandi, right? So my, my suggestion is that, uh, as, I, as I show you just now, there are five, um, you know, the best knowledge that you need, um, you, you need to know. So for the beginner, you need to spend time to enhance your knowledge in your subject matter. That is very important, yeah? The second thing is that you need to master the research methodology knowledge. For example, what are the research methodology you want to use? Quantitative, qualitative, or mixed method? You need to know it clearly because later on in during the viva, they will ask you the justification. So if you have more knowledge about that, you can justify it with the reasonable um, justification, and then you will be you will be uh, safe. Okay. Another thing is that you need to have uh, you know uh, you you need to control your emotion. You need to uh, mentally prepare that you will face a lot of changes. But the thing is, you will be able to manage it, so no worries. So for the beginner, I would recommend that you need to enhance your knowledge. You need to deepen your knowledge in your research area. Thinking about how to manage uh, external pressure from our supervisor. You know, human interaction, we are different. Yeah, Some of them uh, might, might be uh, more serious. Some of them might be more, uh, you know, more uh, uh, humor. So it depends on what kind of um, supervision style you, you, uh, that is suitable for you, all right? So for the external pressure, as I say, if your supervisor found that you are, you are a hardworking person, okay, you do everything so serious and sincerely, live in me, that will help you, yeah? You have a good attitude, you work hard, you follow the instruction, that will help you, okay? So uh, if you have this kind of good behavior, and then you will not have any external pressure from your supervisor. Because supervisor, um, most of the supervisor are ready to help the postgraduate student. Thank you. How to maintain momentum as a student, uh, time also doing a job or working. So how do you maintain both? Okay, for, for this one, I think one of the best way is that you need to make uh, your timetable. You need to schedule well. Yeah. You need to sacrifice your weekend time. Okay, for me, because I'm, uh, I was a fast-track student, I know that I lack of research methodology uh, knowledge. So I sacrificed my weekend. Um, you know, I, during the weekends, I even went to library 
um, to, to, to do study, to, you know, to catch up what I lack of. So for you uh, as a uh, part-time student or you have an extra job, so uh, what I can recommend or suggest that is you need to manage your time. So you can manage, how, how, you, how do you manage your time is that you need to uh, set your goal. What are the things you want to achieve every week? Okay. Uh, and then you need to set the long-term goal. When do you want to have your proposal design? Yeah. So you will have both short-term goal and long-term goal. Once you set your goals, you will know how to achieve it by scheduling your time. Yeah. Because your goal is clear. We are uh, stated that, and then you just follow your goal and then set the time for yourself to do the study. But you need to sacrifice your time yeah, because you have more things to do and your commitment is more than other people uh, who are the full-time students. Yeah. Uh, last question. All right. Is, um, and then what are the uh, strategies that made you become an outstanding uh, student? So uh, what are the challenges that I face the most is that, as, as I mentioned just now, is the research methodology part. Because I did not did um, did not do my research um, master, so in master you know that uh, there will have one course for the research methodology. So at the time they can um strengthen and deepen their research methodology. And for me, because I skip it, so I need to catch up. So this is the more challenging part for me. And you know, research methodology is also important in the whole research because you need to know how to conduct the research, and you need to know what are the tools you need to use to complete your research, and you need to make a lot of justification. So this is the most challenging part I met during my PhD study. So what are the strategies that I um, took is that I always attend the workshop, colloquium, and also the courses. Because of my weaknesses in research methodology, I just know that UTM Library has provided a lot of training. The honor of thanking our respected guest, Dr. Q, on behalf of the participants, as well as the organizing committee uh, for taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to take us through these wonderful uh, tips. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Doctor. Let me also use this medium to thank uh, UTM SPS for their support uh, and collaboration.